in today's video we are doing an on location portrait photo shoot on the streets of Sydney and I want to talk to you guys about how I find locations to work with for my photo shoots. So our model today is Shanice, Lydia's done hair and makeup and Dan is behind the camera filming today's behind the scenes and I'm going to be shooting on my Canon 5D Mark IV with my Canon 35mm 1.4 Mark II. So we're going to get started on taking some photos now and I'm going to give you all the tips that I use on how to find a location in order to be able to make any location work for you. Let's get started. So the first location that we're shooting in is just here underneath these trees. The reason I picked this is one, because I love the beautiful color and the texture of the leaves, but the second one, which is the most important thing when finding a location for your portraits, is the lighting. So right now we've got the sun behind Shanice and it's giving her some beautiful backlight, which makes the skin appear really soft and it's just like a really nice kind of lighting to use. It's my favorite backlighting. <laughs> so we're gonna take a few photos here so you guys can see what the location and the lighting looks like. All right, I might take a full body shot here. I was thinking if you kind of cross your arms maybe with both your hands and kind of stick like a foot up, either one. And then if you kind of like bring your shoulders up a little bit, you can kind of move around and <laughs> that's cute. Beautiful. Nice, and then do you want to do a couple as well? Maybe if you kind of like kick your feet around. Yeah. <laughs> and then I might do one more. If you uh, crouch down facing towards Dan. Mm -hmm. Rest it down. You can like actually laugh if you want to. <laughs> awesome. Alright, let's go across the road. I think we'll shoot here. So for this location, I chose this because of the leading lines in the photo. I kind of want to shoot from an angle so the lines lead your gaze to Shanice in the portrait. And I feel like that's really important with portrait photography and something that you can do if you like to shoot in urban locations. I normally like to shoot at like the park or the beach so I don't get to do this a lot. So when I have lines to work with, I definitely like to work with them in my photos. Oh, not as tall as you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you come up a little bit more. Nice. <laughs> Never know what to do with my other arm. You can just drop it down. Yeah, like that's nice. Just bring your chin down just a little bit as well. Yeah. And then with the hand that's leaning, if you wanted to rest your head on it. Okay. I have to get better at finishing my sentences. Because <laughs> I'm like, and then do you want to, and I just do the thing? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll shoot one more this way as well. Maybe for this one, if you wanted to lean kind of your back against the wall. Awesome. The next spot I want to shoot against is this textured wall. <laughs> I really like it because it is uh, textured, but there's also some depth with these little kind of leaves and flowers coming out of it. I find that brick walls and wooden walls and colored basic backdrops are really great for a shot, but me being me, I do love greenery in my photos. So I found this wall that's got the plain textured backdrop, but then also some added color and depth with the leaves. Can I get you to sit down just here with yeah. your back against the wall? Yeah. Maybe lean one hand out. And I don't know if this will look good, but do you want to try kind of grabbing over and reaching towards your ankles? Like you're stretching almost? I'm so flexible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. 
It smells really well good, but it looks nice. And you can like lean your head over into your shoulder, yes. So this is the next location that we're going to be shooting in. This is in the complete shade and I find that this is a really good tip if you're either shooting in the middle of the day and the sun is really bright or if you're just not getting the right lighting conditions. Shade is always a really easy lighting situation to fall back on if you're struggling to find anything better to shoot with. I also like to mix it up so not every single photo is in the bright sun or in bright backlight. It's nice to have some shady photos as you see a lot more detail in the pictures that you take. And then if you lean your elbows so you're kind of hunching over, that's cool. Yeah, I like that actually. And then could you also lean your hand on the top of your head? Like, yeah, I think it would. get an over the shoulder portrait and then I, I really like these stairs oh that's so pretty up there okay I might can I get you to sit on the third step there please <laughs> did you see that picture of yourself Dan <laughs> show he's just like photo him in the bushes <laughs> That one, like, yeah, there's like this one. Maybe I'll like tuck it in. That's nice. I like that little head tilt to your right. Yeah. 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 And if you want to lean your elbow on that next step over. And you can kind of like move your head around like in a different angle. See how it looks nice. The next thing that I look for in portrait locations is color. I love really nice colors, usually green in my photos, as you guys know. But I came across this location that has this really cool kind of coral pink cream colored stone, which I think will complement the dress that she's wearing really well because it's got little bits of orange. That's also something I like to do is match colors of the outfit to the background that we're shooting or find complementary colors to the outfit and the background. So that's what we're doing here in this location. And again, we've got beautiful backlight coming in uh, for that soft kind of glow. Kind of wanted to swing your other arm like around, yeah. And then did you want to try leaning your back against the column as well? So for this one, I was thinking if you kind of bring your shoulders in a little bit, yeah. And then I might get one with your profile as well if you look out that way. You kind of stand almost behind the column and you can lean both your arms. Are you okay, Dan? <laughs> I can just see you rummaging. <laughs> I just hear the leaves. <laughs> hey, the lighting's so nice. I know, it's so dreamy.
I might get you to stand back here as well. And we'll get one more, I love that building in the background. That's nice there. If you wanted to, maybe you can kind of hold both your arms. Yeah, that's very pretty. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and picked up some helpful tips that you can use at your next photo shoot. I would love to know which ones were your favorite photos down in the comments below, as well as which ones were your favorite tips that you might use for next time. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I will see you guys all next time. Bye.